a KQED HD production. My name is Khaled Musallam and I am a professor and vice chair in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at University of California, Berkeley. The shake table moves in a similar way to how the earth moves when an earthquake happens. Earthquakes shake the earth and the important part of the shaking is the horizontal movement. And that translates into lateral forces. So unless the building is designed for these lateral loads, it may go to the unfortunate situation of collapsing. The unique thing about the UC Berkeley shake table is it's a three-axis shake table. So it can be moved in three directions, not only translation, but also rotation. The size of it is 20 foot by 20 foot, and that would allow us to fit a reasonably large size of structures on it. Today, there was uh, some tests related to substation equipment. These were electric switches that were tested for different scenarios of the ground motion and different scenario of the switches themselves. A significant part of the earthquake engineering research can be done in computer models. However, we cannot bypass the need for physical testing. Most of the tests that we have done on the shaking table have led to improvement in the design by understanding how they behave, and more importantly, improvement in the retrofit of the existing built environment. If you test the real conditions, you can anticipate how the failure will take place, and then you can design retrofit measures for that that would make these structures behave better. 